Hi friends, morning. I am Dr. Ashwish Gupta. I am a consultant fetal medicine. So today we are going to talk about NIPT. So NIPT or NIPS is a very good screening test, right? But there are two things that we need to uh, understand about this NIPT or NIPS. There is a difference between 99% sensitive and 99% accurate first. Secondly, there could be some false positive and false negative with this NIPS testing. That should be uh, counseled and that should be told to the patients before doing this test. So, in uh, slides, I will tell you examples. So, this is the usual report that we get within NIPT. So, that they tell you about the low risk and high risk for these chromosomes. So, this trisomy 21 is a low risk. But when we did the ultrasound, we identified that in a mid sagittal plane of the fetus, we, uh, the, hardly the nasal bone was visible. So what we were what we are dealing up with a hypoplastic or an absent nasal bone. We did the MNEO and then we identified that this is a positive Down syndrome positive fetus. So NIPT being normal and then you can have a Down syndrome baby in the background. So doing a follow up ultrasound or doing an ultrasound prior to NIPT is very very important so as to identify uh, the soft markers as far as the baby is concerned. With a normal NIPT, if the nasal bone is absent, there could be 40% chance that you can have a Down syndrome baby. So the ultrasound is complementary before NIPT or after the NIPT is of paramount importance. Thank you very much for your patient listening.